the leader of the movement for actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Maso Rav Wazuriki, who has been at loggerhead with the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazi Inamdikanu, has alleged that he sent unknown gunmen to attack him last night and that no matter how hard he tries, he cannot track him down or get at him. Wazuriki said that he knows Nandikanu very well and that he is the most tricky person he has ever seen. Wazuriki, who continued, said that he opened a radio station for Nandikanu when he was in Nigeria and that he started using the station to attack him on air. He added that he was the brain behind his marriage and that when he came to Nigeria, he gave him the sum of 450000 Naira for his traditional marriage. Wazuriki said Namdikano was feeling bossy towards him and that he told his sister who is a police officer to organize mobile policemen to protect him on that day of his wedding ceremony. Knowing fully well that Wazuriki was going to storm the venue. He said on that day he organized his boys and told them to pick Namdi Kano at where he was sitting with his bride, adding that he is bigger than him and has more level and influence than him. Wazuriki, who said Namdi Kano has been attacking him of recent, said that he can never push him into armed struggle and that he is bigger than any security outfit he created in Nigeria. He told Nandi Kanu that if he was in Nigeria, he wouldn't have been able to do what he is currently doing, adding that he would have been arrested or probably would have arrested him and all his ESN members. He told Nandi Kanu that if he is truly or and wanted to face him, he should come out from his hiding place, let them see face to face, head to head, adding that he hasn't killed any Biafra agitator and will never do such thing. We have heard the allegation Wazoreke has put against the IPOB leader Nandi Kanu that he sent unknown gunmen to attack him last night. What do you have to say about this? According to Wazuriki, he said that he knows Namdi Kanu very well and that he is the most tricky person he has ever seen. What do you think of this statement that has been said? Well, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about what has been said so far. Namdi Alota said, Wazuriki should go and bury his head in shame. He is only jealous of the young man's achievement. Chukwo Kike Obiyama is using Enamdi Kano to liberate Ibos. They say he is arrogant and assertive, but I know those qualities has brought him far to where he, are, where he is now. These men are no gentlemen you treat with kids' gloves. We have heard what Enamdi Alota has said about this issue on ground that Wazuriki is only jealous of this young man's achievement and that he should go you know and bury his head in shame that probably he's talking about God here using Nandi Kano to liberate the Igbos. What do you have to say about what has been said? Well we have a quick response from Mohammed Muhammadu responding to what Nandi Alota said that where is he now? Of course, always on the run, no parent, no home, no country, and a bloody fugitive. We have had the response given to Nandi Alota's comment over what has been said so far. Mohammed Amodu now is now asking where is Uwazuriki. Of course, he is always on the run, no parent, no home, no country, and a bloody fugitive. What do you have to say about this? Is it true that Uwazuriki is always on the run? Because there's no parent, how true is that? No home, no country, and a bloody fugitive. Who would like to know about your own reaction about what has been said so far? Let's move forward and see what other people have to say about this. 
best man or being one is said go and settle with your people you are owing money you are not the problem of unandi kano we have heard what the best man has said about this issue that he should go and settle with his people he is owing money and that he is not the problem presently of namdi kano what do you make of what has been said so far well let's move forward and see what other people have to say about this let's know their reactions and thoughts about the whole you know story that has been said so far ali umal jida said kano is a terrorist criminal and tribalistic greedy fool to overtake his oga his action have sent so many evils youth to early graves while he is hiding in europe like a parasite we have heard what ali umar jida has said what do you make of this is it true that kano is a terrorist is it true that he's a criminal and tribalistic greedy fool that he has to overtake his boss his action has sent so many evil youth to early grave how true is this while he is hiding himself in europe like a parasite we would like to know your thoughts about what has been said so far by Ali Umar Jida, we would like to know your thoughts about his reactions to what has been said in the news. Well, that's his only reaction and point of view. Let's move further and see what other people's reactions is on this. Chinedu Nwaka has said, Wazuriki has proven that he is a truly a traitor. What does Mazinam Dikano need? the death of an irrelevant person like you for instead of accusing those that killed a consul on your assumed assassination attempt you are busy talking rubbish we have heard what chinedunwak has said that Uazureke has proven that he is a truly a traitor what does mazinam the kano needs the death of an irrelevant person like you for you can see what Nwaka is saying that even if you claim uh, Nandi Kano wants to attack you, what does he need your death for? Because you are irrelevant. Instead of you, you know, accusing people who assassinate uh, or console, you are there, you know, busy talking rubbish. We have had different, you know, comments from people. We have had different reactions from people who would like to know about your own thought, would like to know your reaction. We would like to know your candid opinion about what has been said so far. We can now see, obviously, that Biafra agitation has faction already. Ralph Wazureke, Masop faction, and Nnamdi Kanu, Ipo faction. What do you think about this?